do we have a functioning democracy? Uh, or is this, in your opinion, this magnificent experiment <coughs> in, in self-governance, this 230-year-old wonderful experiment, is it over? What do you think? Well, you're <laughs> <laughs> All right, lots of optimistic questions. Such <laughs> 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 rays of hope. Um, you know, I actually, you know, I actually don't believe that anybody who had a choice of what to do tonight, you know, sit at home and watch a television show or sign on to the internet or go out with friends or go see a movie, but who instead chose to come here, actually believes that we are, you know, irrevocably over as a republic. Um, and that there's nothing possible left to do, and that things are hopelessly lost, and that we ought to just give up. Because if you actually believe that, there are lots of people who will say they believe that. Um, you know, people write emails to me all the time, oh, I read your column every day, but I think it's all hopeless. Well, I don't actually believe that, because if you thought it was all hopeless, you probably wouldn't be reading my columns, because what's the point, right? You just block it all out and go walk on the beach or, or enjoy yourself. Um, so I actually think that, you know, declaring everything at a loss, is kind of a psychological instrument that we use to um, relieve ourselves of the obligation to continue to fight. Um, and at the same time, it's a way of sort of preparing ourselves so that if everything does truly get to the point where all is lost, whatever that might mean, that because we've already declared in advance that it's already happened, we're not going to be quite as disappointed because we think it's already happened and we've kind of prepared for it. So, you know, I don't think that that's true. Um, and I think if you look at the history of the United States, you know, I mean, I write critically about you know, our political culture and our political system all the time. Um, but there are some actually good aspects to it. Um, and one of the good aspects to it is that it tends to be very rejuvenative. And there have been extraordinary crises, existential crises, um, that have existed. There have been um, some extraordinarily unjust and heinous laws. There have been uh, assumptions embedded in the political culture that were truly evil and oppressive. Um, and what you see in the history of the United States is the ability for the culture to change. And it's not just historical changes, even in the last 30 to 40 years, is as horrible as our government has been in many respects. Um, the political culture has changed for the better. I mean, women have been extraordinarily empowered. Racial inequality has diminished. The situation for gay Americans has changed. These are all positive uh, developments that have come about through citizen activism. As long as there's free expression, there's the means, as I said earlier, to find ways to change things. So, um, you know, obviously things in, in one sense are bleak um, after the last eight years and now the continuation of lots of those policies, the nature of the media, the failure of the other institutions. Um, but there's things like the internet that have arisen that have empowered people in ways that they weren't empowered before. And there's, um, I think, a growing recognition as, as polls reflect that the vast majority of citizens are deeply and radically unhappy with the way that the government is functioning. Not because they're Democrats or Republicans and think that there's ideological differences, but because they just think the system is intrinsically corrupt. And I think at that level of citizen discontent, that intensity <coughs> and pervasiveness, um, can only ultimately produce at least change, if not actually positive outcomes. And then it's just the obligation of all of us and everybody who thinks that these problems are severe to figure out a way to harness that. And if it's not harnessed, then ultimately it's our fault for not figuring out how to do it. That's pretty much possible.